Hey everyone, Michael Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am a certified orientation and mobility specialist and I work at Future Insight in Concord, New Hampshire. And welcome to part two of my video series, which is on the white cane. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how the white cane is a tool of independence for somebody who's blind and visually impaired. All right, let's do this. For somebody who's blind and visually impaired, the use of a white cane can greatly increase their independence when traveling. So when using a white cane while traveling, it'll increase their confidence, their efficiency, and their safety uh, when traveling in their environment. And this requires some training from an orientation mobility specialist to really develop these skills. Uh, but once these skills are developed, uh, this really can play a big positive impact in a person's life. So now I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of what it looks like first when I'm not using a cane, trying to get through a little obstacle course I have here. And then I'm going to show you what it's like traveling through that same obstacle course when using a cane. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference on how much uh, the cane uh, increases my confidence, safety, and efficiency while traveling. All right, so now I'm gonna start my demonstration here. I set up a little obstacle course in front of me. I'm actually uh, in my backyard, and this is just kind of stuff that was laying around back here. Um, in front of me, I have a kiddie pool, a chair, there's a couple uh, storage tubs, a trash can, a little kid slide, a bucket, a ball. So these are some of the obstacles that are in front of me. And for my first demonstration, I'm going to walk with my eyes closed uh, from where I'm standing now. So I'm at the, the back end of all the obstacles and walk towards where the camera is. And I'm gonna show you what it's first like when I am not using the cane with my eyes closed and what that looks like. And then I will demonstrate with the cane and you'll be able to see the difference of what a cane uh, can do. All right, so let's do this. So I'm at the beginning of my obstacle course and I actually set up this obstacle course so I kind of know where things are already, but I'm already uh, pretty nervous. I just closed my eyes and I know the general direction I need to go. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, but I'm probably going to be going pretty slow because I, <laughs> I really don't want to trip and hurt myself. So I'm kind of shuffling along here. Um, I don't know when something, okay, I kick something. Not sure what that is. Um, I kind of have my hands out here in front of me to try and protect myself um, a little bit, at least from my stuff hitting my head. Um, but I won't be able to feel what's by my feet with my hands. Okay, I kick something. That might have been the trash can. I'm not quite sure. So I'm pretty, I uh, think I'm getting close. Oh, bumped into something with my leg. Oh, that kind of feels like the slide. So I'm gonna try and go around that here. Um, my eyes are still closed. I think I'm getting close to the camera. And I think I'm about here. So I'm gonna open my eyes. Okay, I'm kind of close. Um, but that was pretty nerve wracking. I was definitely nervous and a little bit afraid. I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna bump into or if I was gonna trip and fall on something. So now let's do it with the cane. All right, so now I'm gonna do that same obstacle course now with the cane. And this time I am going to be closing my eyes again and I'm gonna be using the cane to navigate around this obstacle course and try and make it back to the camera again. All right, let's do this. So my eyes are closed, I'm getting my cane set up here. And I've had some training doing this, so I'm familiar with how to use the cane, which is also important. Um, so now I'm gonna start walking. Okay, my cane found something a few steps in front of me. It sounds like the kiddie pool. All right. Okay, I found something else. Okay, I was able to find the edge now, so I'm going around that. So, I'm still a little nervous. I mean, you don't know, but I'm feeling much more confident uh, with what's directly in front of me being protected by the cane. So that feels like the slide. So I wanna go to the left of the slide. Good. So I'm walking and I should be almost towards the camera. And I'm gonna stop now so my cane doesn't actually hit the tripod holding the camera. Um, but okay, I got pretty close, but I was definitely more confident and just felt a lot safer uh, traveling through this little obstacle course to get to the camera here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful in learning a little bit more about the white cane and how effective this tool can be for somebody who's blind and visually impaired. And one last thing I wanted to mention is that if you or someone you know is blind and visually impaired and you're considering the cane uh, for safety or confidence and efficiency when traveling, I definitely recommend meeting with an orientation and mobility specialist. That way they can do an evaluation and see if the cane is a right fit for you. And thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful day.